What's up, y'all? So I haven't told this story to literally anybody. I don't even think I told this to my own family members. Mainly because I just, you know, put it away in my memory and I forgot about it. Um, so I got to take y'all back. You know, Saturday night, I figured I'd give y'all something to, you know, entertain you. You said I'm a good storyteller, so I'm going to give y'all some, some more stories from my life. And you see the title, The Time I Was Robbed at Gunpoint. This is no bullshit. I didn't just click you, uh, clickbait you in. Come here, Fluffy. You see my co-host, Fluffy, right here. Come here, baby. Get in the camera. Yeah. So, anyways. This is the time I got robbed in gunpoint. So, I was... This was like... I was like 14, 15 years old. You know what I'm saying? It's like my sophomore or, or freshman year. Um, So, growing up... I said in one of the comments... I moved. I bounced back from... um. Suburbs to the hood to the suburbs to the hood throughout my whole childhood, you know um, I spent like a year here and I spent a couple years in the hood, you know, so this was my hood here and this is where uh, I had got jumped, you know by those 20 dudes same year, you know or same Yeah, same it was in the same year. Yeah, something like that If you haven't seen I got jumped by 20 guys. This is the same neighborhood now the neighborhood I was in was a blood neighborhood um me like the blood gang blood if you don't know for my people that aren't familiar with gang language they were it was a blood neighborhood um now me it was really hard for me to make friends or keep even keep friends because with me moving so much uh i wouldn't be at the same school like i went to a different high school every single year um i wouldn't be uh, i wouldn't stay in the same neighborhood for long periods of time so it was hard for me to make friends my mom Growing up, she put me through mentor programs, you know, um, like different mentor programs. I had a couple different mentors that I actually like, you know what I'm saying? They take me places. One mentor took me to his, uh, took me to my first football game ever. That's the only football game I've ever been to, literally. I've only been to one football game my whole life. I don't watch sports, so I don't really care. But anyways, going through this mentor program, I met this dude. And me and this dude, we were super cool. His name was uh, Kareem. Um, yeah, his name was Kareem. A little short. He was short as hell, you know what I'm saying? He was like five, five, uh, five, uh, he was short, you know what I'm saying? Like five, I'd say like five, six, like Kevin Hart short, you know? He was short, but he was stocky. He was always like cut up. He was swole, you know what I'm saying? And he, he stayed right by the house where we stayed, you know what I'm saying? He knew some of the bloods in the neighborhood. He didn't bang bloods, but he was cool with them. You know what I'm saying? He knew some of the bloods in the neighborhood. Well, meeting him, I kicked it with him a lot because I didn't, like I said, I didn't have a lot of friends. You know what I'm saying? He was older than me, so I kind of looked up to him, you know? Um, uh, uh, so he introduces me to his cousin. His cousin is this light-skinned dude, same age as me, named Red. Me and Red are, like, a lot alike. You know what I'm saying? We cool. We not gangster. You know what I'm saying? We just in the hood. You know what I'm saying? We more we more we more focus on chasing girls, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> At this time in our life, so uh, but we hang out, you know what I'm saying? We 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 look up to this dude Kareem because uh, he's older and he's he's cool with like the gangsters in the neighborhood, so we kind of cool with him. So me and Red get close, you know. Red lives like two blocks from my mom's house that we're staying. Um, so I always you know end up going over to Red's house and just kicking it with him. So. This was uh, the starting of the new school year. We got new shoes, you know what I'm saying? Well, I didn't get new shoes. My mom couldn't afford it at the time. But he got new shoes, you know what I'm saying? And we're walking to the corner store. Now, me and Red, you know, um, we didn't have we didn't have no uh, no straps or guns, you know what I'm saying, what they say. Um, so we're walking to the corner store by our house, which is a known area for where the bloods hang out and trap and stuff. This was back in the day, like... Back when they had the chirp phones, you know, you know, the Boost Mobile chirp phones, like the walkie talkie phones, and when ringtones were hot, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm old. <laughs> when everybody had ringtones on their phone, you know what I'm saying? The ringtone air. So, flip flown air. Um, so, yeah. And side note, I always wanted one of those phones. I could never afford it. I always thought they were so fucking cool, you know what I'm saying? Everybody had the chirp phone. Everybody in the hood was always chirping. Where you at? Where you at? You know? <laughs> Uh, I was so jealous. I had a little flip phone that didn't even work, you know? It, I just set the, the ringer so when I be on the bus, you know what I'm saying? It would sound like I'm getting calls, but really it's just my alarm. <laughs> but
But anyways, so so we're walking to the corner store and these blood dudes, you know what I'm saying? They see us walking that way. It's like six or seven of them. You know what I'm saying? They're walking towards us. They're like the corner store would be like up the block, you know, and um me and Red we're walking, you know, up to the corner store. We're like maybe a block away. So these blood we see the blood dudes, we're like, damn, we just keep walking, man. We see him, we like keep walking. And they stop us like, hey, hey dog, what's up? What you want? And we like, we ain't on nothing, what's up? He like, hey, um, he look at red shoes, he like, hey, run that shit. I'm like, man, I'm not about to run it. One one of the blood dudes pulls out a nine, you know what I'm saying? Sticks it, sticks it right 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 towards me. The other blood dude grabs another one, grabs his waist, like, yeah, run that shit, you know what I'm saying? What you gonna do? You got a gun, you got a gun in your face. And this is like, I'd have to say, like, um, towards it's a summer day, but it's like it's like uh uh it's like almost night, you know what I'm saying? So there's not a lot of people that can see, you know, it, it, the sun's kind of down. And this was back when um, those Air Force Ones, everybody was rocking the see-through Air Force Ones, you know what I'm saying? Um, that was hot back then, you know? Um, and he had some fresh shoes on, man. He had just got these shoes. Stuck the gun to him and said, hey, run that shit, you know? What you gonna do? I couldn't do shit, you know what I'm saying? We couldn't do shit. We ain't had no gun, we ain't had no knife, nothing. It's six of them, two of us, you know? So... He took his shoes off, you know, took his shoes off and gave it to the dude. Then he look at me, run your pockets. I had some busted ass shoes, so they didn't take my shoes, you know what I'm saying? All right, man, you know, go ahead, take, go ahead, check my pockets. I ain't had no money, you know what I'm saying? I was broke back then, you know? <laughs> so they run my pockets and they like, all right, we better not catch you on a block or around here again. This blood neighborhood, you know, Sue Whoop, all that shit, you know? And they, they walk off, you know? And um, I think this... This was like, I can't remember if it was, it was a couple months before, or I think it was after I got uh, jumped by them dudes. I can't remember. I think it was after I got jumped by them dudes, but a couple months after, you know? Um, because I used to be like, you know what I'm saying? I used to be cool with them, you know what I'm saying? Like, a couple of them, like I knew them and shit, you know? But, so, they took his shoes, and... We ended up having a, he had to walk home barefoot, you know? <laughs> and me, I only had, a, I only had like a couple dollars. We was going up to the store to get some snacks, you know what I'm saying? The little 50 cent candies and shit, you know, the Zuzu and Wham Whams and yeah. And um, one really shit we could do about it, we went and called his cousin up. We told him what happened and he was always a talker, you know what I'm saying? He would always be like, yeah, yeah, I'm a, uh. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a handle there. I know, I know, I know what dudes did this shit. You know what I'm saying? He always run his mouth, but never did shit. You know what I'm saying? He stayed with his grandma, like right by the highway. And actually, the park where I got jumped is where Prince used to go to school. At, I guess you know. Fun fact. <laughs> um, so he's like, yeah, I'm a handle there, but nothing ever happened. He said the same shit when um I got jumped. He came to see me. You know what I'm saying? I'm sitting on my porch. My eye looked like a watermelon. You know. <laughs> He's like, man, that's fucked up. I'm going to get the straps and we're going to go air that bitch out. Nothing ever happened, you know? And yeah, we just had to take take that L, you know what I'm saying? What you going to do? You got a gun in your face? You're going to be like, oh, oh, nah, I'm going a, I'm to a punch this dude, you know? Or not give it up and risk your life over some shoes and a couple of dollars, you know? So, yeah, he, he, he ended up walking home barefoot well, with his socks on. Luckily, we only stayed like four or five blocks like four or three blocks away from there, so yeah, and yeah, that's the time I got robbed at gunpoint. Um, that's not the worst time I, I've been robbed a couple times out of my life. You know what I'm saying? I've been robbed by friends. I've been uh, stabbed. You know what I'm saying? And believe me, there's the there's the war wound. <laughs> um, I got videos on this channel about that, so we'll just go back way back about the stabbing one. But uh, that was probably my worst robbing. Um. Yeah, um, but uh, yeah, that's pretty much my whole story. Uh, let me know what you guys think of this story. I got more crazy ass stories for y'all. Let y'all know. Um, peace.